it's Insane Gamers, and welcome back to Minecraft! And as you can probably tell by my overcomplicated inventory, we're going to be doing some more adventures in Redstone, because I don't really feel like building a house right now. Last time, we made some waterfalls, and today we're going to be delving into the realm of timers! Yeah! Basically, when you need something to take a certain amount of time and don't feel like placing 2,500,000 frickin' redstone repeaters, you can use one of these. Both of them work completely differently, and both of them have their advantages and disadvantages and uses and not uses, and they're pretty cool. I guess we'll start with this one! Uh, this one is powered by the growth of sugarcane. It is 100% automatic. You don't have to do anything with it once it's built. It'll turn itself on and reset itself, and whatever you attach to it will also go off by itself according to this timer. So it's actually really good for farms. I use uh, mine in a sugarcane farm, because obviously it's powered by sugarcane, and uh, it goes off at... I, I'd say it once every 10 minutes, or maybe 10 to 12 minutes. It, it isn't exact, it's random, because obviously Sugar King grows at a random rate. So, it works on its own, but it's random. This one over here, controlled by a switch, but it's very, very controllable. You can set any amount of time you want, uh, depending on what you're using it for, and it's just really accurate, and that's about it. Ignore that. Okay, so, <laughs> let's just set both of them off so you can see both of them in action. I guess I'll attempt to explain how it's working. This one is, um, basically the sugar cane grows, and this is a block update detector switch, this doohickey mabobber right here. Basically, when it grows to this height, in front of this piston, stuff happens. It pushes forward, sends a pulse, flipping over this D flip-flop, which in turn sets one half of the end gate off. So you gotta wait for both of these to grow fully, and once you do... STORE STOP HAPPENS! So basically, once both of them are set, the uh, whole end gate is activated, sends a pulse down this way, which flips all these, destroying the sugar cane and resetting the switch at the same time. And that also flips off this there thingy here. Did you get all that? If your mind is blown, I don't blame you. But um, you should probably go watch a video about a cute kitten right now. Because it's about to get even more complicated. This one is, like I said, the one that's a lot more controllable. We'll flip the switch here, and the timer starts counting down. The extra time part that keeps the time is this doohickey mabobber over here. It's powered by a redstone clock, and it's got two outputs. They alternate pulses. These right here shorten the pulses to just a really short little blip, so that the um, pistons don't interfere with each other when this is going around. They push this stone block around. Now remember, glass doesn't conduct redstone current, but any solid block does. So once this block gets over here, this will light up, shutting this off, stopping the clock, and, my little surprise, it's like an alarm clock. By the way, am I the only one that thinks that new explosion sound, sound effect is really lame? Because honestly, it's pretty freaking lame. I'm not gonna lie. As opposed to... Boom! You know, you'd think TNT would be a little bit more exciting than that. Oh well. So this is my favorite prototype, which actually works now, because I take I t t t t took the time to fix it. <clears throat> well, I guess I should show you how to build one of these, shouldn't I? Hmm. Too bad it's night time. Oh well. So what you're going to want to do is find a nice flat spot to build. We're going to be building this one first since it's a lot easier and will take less time. And we'll save the more complicated one for when I've got a full 15 minutes. This looks like a nice place to build it. Okay, so uh, this shouldn't take too long. Go ahead and dig a hole three down. And one block away, another hole three down. And by the way, these are all the materials you're going to need. You're going to need water, repeaters. <laughs> you won't need TNT. You won't need sugar cane, sticky pistons, uh, and regular pistons, or just sticky pistons. Torch, uh, more dust than that, obviously. A block of some description. Uh, dirt's probably one of the better things to use, just because we need it anyway. Oh wait, you do need sugar cane for this one. herp derp der Okay. <laughs> so after you've done that, let's go ahead and find more rock. 
Okay, whatever. Um, anyway, <coughs> gonna go like that and place water there. It's a great big universe, and we're all really puny, where there's tiny little specks about the size of Mickey Rooney. Uh, how does the rest of it go? Mm, I don't know. Anyway, once you've done that, go ahead and place your sugar cane. And, uh... Two pistons like that. Now we're gonna start building the butt switches, and these are pretty easy to build. So just follow my lead. Two torches there, and redstone. I don't really know anything interesting to talk about. Oh, I know. Do 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 do. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, then Argentina, Honduras, Guyana, and still, I don't know, and I just misplaced it and caused it to spaz out. What a boss. Okay, anyway, that's what you want to do. So, um, mm-hmm. That's a butt switch. I hope you got all that. And Ah, there we go. The redstone torch burned out, so... Yep, fail. <clears throat> Anyhow, now we've got our, uh, actually, the main part of it done. So, uh, after you've built the two butt switches, run a wire either side out like this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. I don't think so. Thank God for freaking super speed flying, man. Oh, wow. That was some video game reaction time right there. <laughs> okay, I've got to be more careful about that. Right, so, um... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So, you want to, uh... Put a redstone, uh... I can't even concentrate now, because that, like, frightened the crap out of me. A redstone, um, wire each side, and then we're just gonna dig a little trench here. This is where our, our, um, D flip-flops, T flip-flops, flip-flop, flippy, f I got my swim trunks, and my flippy floppies, you know, <laughs> just like that. This is where our flip-flops going to be, so, um, two apart like that, put one there, two, one there. So that means, same again, one there. Nope, not there. One. No! One there, and one there. Oh, man. Placing blocks in the correct position is so difficult sometimes, especially when you're an idiot. Okay. So now, torch there. And dig that out and put a torch there. Sorry, I'm not explaining this very well, am I? I'm just like, put block here, put block here, put Put block here. Anyway, put a block over that torch, and then put two blocks over top of that. So you're kind of covering it, but don't cover the switches. Uh, the switches, the pistons. Go ahead and put a torch on either side of the piston. And then put two pieces of redstone there. So that's those set up. Now we just need to put the output. Put the output. Uh-huh. I'm having grammatical issues today. I don't know what my problem is. Obviously, I've been playing too much Minecraft. Okay, now see how they're different? We just gotta reset this one. Just like that, so that both of the, um, currents are the same. Then we'll put a line, our and switch in the middle. And gate. Sorry, it's not an and switch. I always call it, call it an and switch. I have no idea why, because I'm stupid. Okay, well, the basic layout of it's done. All we need to do now is put the pistons on this side that will, uh, destroy the sugar cane. Which is really, really simple to do. Well, sort of. Simple and I'm a genius terms. I hear a spider. Is it gonna try to kill me? Mm, probably. Oh my god! Yes, it is! <laughs> I'll kill you with a shovel! Come on, get out! Get the frick out of here, man! Oh my god. Flush that thing down the toilet. Okay, um. Where was I? I keep getting distracted by mobs and cacneas, apparently. Right, so, um, now we're gonna make the current that activates those. Uh, we gotta put the current all the way back there, though, and I tried to make it as space-saving as possible, so, um, right here, just trust me, put a repeater. You, you don't want anything else but a repeater there, because otherwise it'll interfere with the two torches. So now we're gonna start stepping down so we don't interfere with either of these two torches or the, uh, pistons that control the switch. Because then it would activate constantly and all the torches would burn out and it would not work at all. I just keep digging over there. I have a shovel! Why am I not using it? Hmm... <laughs> I could say it again. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I have another freaking spider. Prepare to meet Daddy Longlegs, son! Hiya! 
Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> worst tutorial ever! Right, so, uh, once you've got that wire running back here, now we're gonna put something called a pulse limiter, and we, we use one of those over there on that complicated one as well. Basically, takes a longer pulse and makes it shorter. That's... Ba that's what it does. So, uh, they're really easy to build, really easy to understand. You're gonna want two blocks like that. You can't see the repeaters at all. So, there we go. Click them twice to put them in the middle like that, and put redstone around like so. You don't want on, one on the top there or there, because I'm a stupid idiot. How many times am I going to call myself stupid, but honestly? Um, right, so that's done. Just exactly like that. I am such a bad teacher. So now, this is our output, where the short pulse will come out. We'll just run one right over there to that, and the other one we'll just kind of put over the... Oh, we can't do it there because there's a torch. Uh, yeah, we'll just put it here. This one we're just going to run right over the top. And that'll go over here to this one. So now... Whoops! <laughs> Let's try that again. Now, it should work. Let me just double check something quickly. Um... I believe this should work now. So let's plant our sugar cane. Just like that. Yes! And that is how you build a completely automatic timer doohickey, my bobber. So now I've got three of these lying around. Great. I'm gonna be like Sugar Cane Farm Central, man. But, uh, yep, that works perfectly. I place a sugar cane, it resets itself, and I can use it to blow up this cacnea. Because... <sighs> okay, now that we've taken care of him, um, I'm going to blow up this cacnea. So, uh, let's go ahead and... By the way, still, lamest explosion sound effect ever. WTF, man. Uh... Just run the wire over here. Ah, uh, not enough wire. Needs bonus power. Wow, it almost took a 64 stack to make that? That's crazy. Okay, that should activate. Kinda nicely. Now, we could wait 10 to 15 minutes for this to activate itself, or... Let's go! Yeah, that's pretty lame. Okay, anyway, so um, next episode we're going to build the even more complicated one, which will definitely take an entire episode, so put your thinking cap on for that one, because, yeah, believe me, it's, um, if you don't really know what you're doing with redstone, it's kind of confusing. But, uh, we'll get through it nicely. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy using your fully automatic timer, if you understood how to build it, and if you don't, I will, um, watch the video again, <laughs> or something. So, um, anyhow, see you guys next time!